What's going on lads? Today I've got a little video for you where basically I'm going to be spraying my rear diffuser on my Audi. Um, I've got to spray the rear diffuser because basically I've already sprayed it in the past but as you can see here, I don't know if you can see that, it's basically come off um, just from like stone chips and stuff so I'm going to show you guys how to get this off and I'm going to go ahead and spray it gloss black and as well if I just open the bonnet put her up okay as well as I've also got a new coolant cap to fit um, this is obviously missing I've ordered a new one hopefully that will come down soon um, I've also ordered a few other bits which I'll be doing a couple of videos on so yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this video it's going to be basically me repainting the rear diffuser i'm going to go ahead and clean the whole car just so that when i do spray this there's no muck on it or anything um i'm gonna go ahead and get started so first things first pretty easy i bought this it's basically a porsche 911 coolant cap which is basically the same design as these coolant tanks so hopefully this is just a straight fit now i know it's a bit special and it's a bit um cringy but I, I don't know i think i like it i think i'm gonna look like oh it wasn't even tight okay so um yeah i think i'm gonna like the look of this so i'll take this one out so i think it looks the same and they, they look they look the same so hopefully this is just straight oh look at that put this on all the way down and then a bit more oh yeah that looks pretty neat i like the look of that yeah that's pretty sick cool i know that you can get the oil caps as well you know in the sort of chrome fashion but i don't really know if i want to go down that route but that is definitely looks all right to me um so yeah that's a nice little modification i'll put a link in the, the uh, description for where i got this from and obviously it's just a straight swap so uh yeah sort of like that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get the car all clean and ready to take that rear diffuser off. Okay lads, so basically I've cleaned the car now, it looks a lot better, but the main reason I did clean this is just to make sure that the bottom diffuser is clean for when I take it off. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off now, um, I can't, I have taken this off before obviously when I did the first spray job, but I can't actually remember how I got it off, I'm just going to have a quick look, um, see how I got it off, I think it was some Torx screws underneath and probably some clips. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys and let you know how to get this off. Okay, so I've got the diffuser off. I've got it right here on a little step ladder. And from here you can already see the amount of like scratches and everything this is out. Now this could have been just me taking it off, but I know that that sort of stuff definitely wasn't me then. But yeah, basically these two holes here, there's one here and one there these are not the screw holes now I did undo the screws that were in these holes um, but they're nothing to do with the diffuser they're for the bumper if you want to take the bumper off basically it's two screws which is one here and one here and that's what they look like there just black screws and they're not even Torx they're just your normal Phillips ones um, so yeah this is what it looks like without a diffuser 
So yeah, it looks pretty weird. Um, I've just already I've cleaned all up under here because this is all black, as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, to get it off, you just undo the sc two screws. There's one there, one at the end there, and basically, basically the rest is just clips. Now you, there is quite a struggle getting it off, but you just got to be brave and try to edge it off without snapping anything. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead clean this all up because obviously it's got muck all over it and then maybe do some wet sanding on bits like this and hopefully start spraying I've also got this bit here which is right here which doesn't look too bad to be honest but yeah I'm going to clean all that up as well and hopefully this should all turn out quite well so yeah I'll get back to you guys when I'm cleaned this all up Okay lads, so I basically just start, uh, just finished wet sanding this little bit. I'm guessing this is where obviously you take it out if you need to tow the car from behind. But yeah, it looks really nice and smooth now. So hopefully this will come out really nice. I've just got to wet sand the rest of this now. I've just left it here to dry because it still had some soapy water in the uh, honeycomb bit. So. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start wet sanding this and I'll get back to you. Okay lads, so I basically stuck, finished um, wet sanding this, which it looks pretty darn good. Nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake the bottle up. Hopefully get this. Hopefully get this all sprayed up. So yeah, let's get started. I've also got the um, this little bit as well, which is looking really nice. It's really smooth. So that should come out well. How stupid is this? So basically, just tried to start spraying, and really reading on the freaking thing, it's got a seal on inside. Which you have to get a screwdriver, freaking truck screwdriver, to get this out. Okay, so I've just got it off now. So yeah, if I didn't have a screwdriver, I wouldn't be. Uh, well, I guess I'd have to use a freaking door key or something. That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the left to the right, and we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to let it dry a little bit, but that'll be sort of the first coat. Now I didn't go on it too thick because I definitely didn't want it to run. If you see there, it's got a bit a bit patchy, so I just don't want to do, take it slowly, get it right. I don't want to rush it and then get it wrong, so yeah. So I've done a couple more coats, it looks a lot better. I just wait for this coat to dry. I'll go over it a couple more times. Anything is is that little ripple there, which I'm gonna try and go over a couple more layers, and hopefully that should be gone. But we'll see how we go. So this is basically the underneath of the car here, this side, and obviously that's where the exhaust goes. There's a couple of little scratches there, which I'm just going to try and put some more layers on. So yeah. Okay, so I've finished spraying the rear diffuser. I'm just gonna let it sit here now in the sun and hopefully this will dry within the next half an hour or 20 minutes I leave it here for. But I think it came out all right. It looks, sorry, it looks quite decent. Obviously the diffuser itself is not in the best condition. Like it does have some scratches and stuff, but with the um, wet sanding, it definitely did help a bit with definitely like, this area at the top, it's a lot smoother. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. I've, I've probably done about five coats on it. Um, but you can see here, if you can see I get it there. It's got some little scratches which I've had to spray over. But 
Yeah, that'd be good for now. Obviously, it was black before, so that helped quite a lot. It was just sort of a touch-up spray, really. So yeah, another two coats on the little plug cap thing, um, which goes on the diffuser. And then I'll put that in the sun and hopefully that will dry and then I'll get it back on the car. Okay, so it's all dry and it looks 10 times better and I really do like the outcome of this. I'm gonna go ahead and get it back on the car and then I'll go ahead and get back to you. Okay, so for some reason the audio was actually corrupt in this footage. Um, but basically I got the diffuser back on, it's just two bolts and all the clips on top, a couple of clips on the bottom. You just gotta double check that all the clips are properly in there because mine, some of them didn't go in, I had to double check and push them in. But um, yeah, I think it looked a lot better now. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want some more. And definitely comment down below to tell me what you guys want to see next in the next video. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.